life is short. The philosopher Seneca remarked that we are born for a brief spell of time, and with few exceptions, this lifetime speeds past us so quickly that life ceases just when we get ready to live our lives. This is so true. A lovely lady observed that most of the leaders that are coming to the forefront during these crazy times look younger than their contemporaries. Several of these new leaders observed that they were getting ready for a tranquil retirement when the world started turning upside down, and they felt a strong calling to take on an agenda that was spelled out to them. They are working harder than ever, but at the same time they experience more satisfaction than ever before because what they do is in the interest of guiding humanity during these turbulent times. I can completely associate with this. I recently left my day job, and since then I've been working harder than ever. I'm productive in my spiritual work every single day, except on Fridays when I go swimming, watch opera, and do other interesting things like sewing, and my practice is growing daily. To me, it feels like I'm now at the beginning of my career, and I have to remind myself that there's plenty of time to do what I've been called to do. I've always been focused on what I wanted to do, but it feels like that focus has increased a hundredfold over the past two years. I have clarity in my thoughts and actions and purpose like I've never had before. It is true that life speeds by. Just the other day, I was a young girl showing off my legs in miniskirts, and now I'm a proud grandmother. There were times in my career when people really treated me badly, and today I struggle to recall their names. What I do recall is what I've learned from the experiences. And while these people are probably enjoying an early retirement without purpose, I'm writing a book on quantum conflict resolution. I realize every day how privileged we are to live through this time of humanity awakening and how blessed I am to be able to help people heal physically, emotionally and spiritually. What is the purpose of your day today? Mine is to complete a course on digital marketing, continue writing the book on conflict resolution and read more on the link between emotions and physical health. That is, apart from doing some chores and watching some videos to catch up on the news of the day. Just a normal day for me, where I shuffle my to-do list around until it looks sort of manageable and then I get on with it. Namaste.